West. History between these teams, Brent, but some people claim rivalries are less relevant now. What do you think? Well, you have to have history before you have the rivalry. And so when teams have fallen off in terms of their competitiveness and winning championships and being league leaders for several seasons, Kevin, now somebody else has to replace them. You got to reestablish teams facing one another four and five times in a row. Probably the best example recent memory have been the NBA Finals where the Cleveland Cavaliers and Golden State Warriors saw each other very familiar for many seasons. So the New York starting five, they've got Morris. Randall out there with Taj Gibson. Then it's Barrett and it's Neil Aquina in at the point guard position. And James picks up the foul. That's his first foul. So it's the Knicks now. It's a three-point game. In the foul on Avery Bradley. That's his first foul. And that's a quick foul for him there. Looks like the refs are going to call this one pretty close. Gibson the bounce pass. Here's Neil Aquina, and he uses the glass on the layup. Someone skilled at finishing under duress. Neil Aquina continuing to stay focused. James the pass to Davis. Kicks it to McGee. Nice ball movement here by the Lakers. Davis dishes to James. And they double up James. And the wide open shot from Green. Off the mark there with the three point shot. Ooh, he missed an easy chance to put some points on the board. He won't get a much better look at that kind of shot again here probably tonight. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. And McGee kicks to LeBron. Outside Green. Good, and the assist goes to James. Boy, if you're going to just hand him this shot, you might as well put a bow on it. Green loves the catch and shoot. He gets a chance now to catch up with the fourth member of our crew, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. Well, I talked with Coach David Fizdale. This will be the first time they're going to be going up against LeBron, AD, and the Lakers. The coach knows the kind of challenge that presents. Coach said we need to play smarter than them this game, or things will fall apart fast. The athleticism on that roster is hard to match, so we need to beat them with our approach. I suppose that's mind over matter, guys. Thank you, David. Here's Neil Aquino. Inside. And Barrett gets it to go. And you like the toughness there. Barrett being more comfortable having to deal with an aggressive defense. Outside, Green. And again, it's the Lakers from deep. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. For New York, they've gone 2 of 5 here, making 40% so far to start out the game. Morris passes to Neely Kina. McGee with the block. Here's Davis. He can't get it to go. Good work defensively by Morris. Randall outside. Drills it from outside. Well, improving his three-point range and confidence and rhythm from the three-point line, that's opening up some things for Julius Randall. Now here is Davis. Coming off a stellar performance against Detroit. Passes it to James. Tried to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. Got a piece of it. Stolen by McGee. Bradley dishes to McGee. And we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. And again, no good by the Lakers. New York trailing. Charity strike shot. Randall no good. Outside Davis. Outside Bradley. Let's it go from deep. Unable to get that one. So New York will take it the other way. Morris with the ball. He is still scoreless so far in this one. Randall no good. Not really his best quarter as far as scoring. Let, let's see if he can eventually get back on track. Well, the big story from the Knicks last season was the surprise trade that sent Porzingis to Dallas. 
shook up the entire roster. Well, never easy to trade a, a franchise player, but there was some rumblings that maybe Porzingis was not going to stay there long term. And a surprise deal made last year as Porzingis exited New York for Dallas. So the next opportunity for them was draft and free agency and to try to get as flexible as they possibly could be for the next few years. Lakers leading by four. Here's Bradley and it's Davis at the elbow. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. You take a look at Anthony Davis and his frame and think about his rookie year coming in so thin and moved around a lot by bigger stronger players in the post no longer the case as he's put on a ton of muscle to that frame and continues to grow in the strength area along with his confidence that's helped him out a lot. And he makes the first. And after just one season at Kentucky, the slight build of Davis was a concern in the NBA. And the question was, would his body hold up? Well, he's answering the question to some degree, Kevin, knowing that it wasn't a one-year process to get stronger and to put on that kind of weight. That just comes with physical maturity. Anthony Davis doing a better job of avoiding places where he might get injured, expanding his game to the perimeter, and hopefully some of those things pay off for his longevity for his career. And the Knicks decide to take their first time out here. And this matchup with the Lakers, it's their first meeting of the season. And one of the few bright spots of their last season was sweeping the season series in this matchup. And now it's a look at the 2K leaderboard with the list of the NBA's best fast break teams from a season ago. The Lakers second. I mean, this is such a tough team to deal with. You see the numbers. They would just push the ball at every opportunity. Pass to Nilakina. Shoots the three. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. Oh, that's just a tough shot from Frank there. Good concentration. Now here's LeBron. Tight defense on him. And here's Green outside. Good, and the assist goes to LeBron. James has got his fourth assist in this one. So it's Neely Kina who brings up the ball for the Knicks. They trail by six. He kicks to Barrett. There's the three. And again, New York with the triple. Nilakina sensing when one of his guys was not covered and then he found him. James outside. Oh, and the jam by LeBron. Ah, never get tired of LeBron James in the air doing wonderful things. Knicks trail by five. Pass to Randall. For Davis and he overshot that one missing he just doesn't look like himself this quarter something's missing well he's missing and it's starting to affect a little bit in his body language and you just don't want to see that now here's Brad low block shot it's rebounded by Barrett he may not be the strongest inside presence in the league but still he's got to convert from there but shots good from Neelakina. 
That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Here's LeBron after New York gets the three. To the inside. Here's Davis. Plays it up and banks it in. Davis has got seven. I mean, it looks simple, but LeBron makes it look that way, Kevin. Out to the right wing. Now, here's Barrett, guarded by Bradley. Barrett, no good. Los Angeles leading by four. Oh, he's going up for the alley-oop here. Now the big man, the brow, finding a teammate and does a great job of seeing somebody that's uncovered. For the New York Knicks, they come in off the loss to Los Angeles. Here's Nilakina, covered by LeBron. Morris outside. A rebound by the Lakers. He's going to be shaking his head on that one. Knows he missed an easy one. Yeah, you can't make them all, and you for sure you'll want him taking that kind of shot. Now here's James. He had a 21-point outing in their last game against Detroit. And guys, what impressed me most was his passing. He constantly looked for the open man and found guys in great spots. To the middle, here's Davis, and it's Davis with the jam. So you're going to give AD that kind of room? Well, here's the payoff for that. New York calls timeout. Opening night, Brent, always exciting. Technically, every team is undefeated with uh, a lot you, of hope. You're just fired up. I mean, the off I am fired the up. NBA never stops, Kevin. We know. know this, right? right? Isn't off it great, though? I'm so oh. glad it doesn't stop. Oh, the offseason is, is just absolutely ridiculously so exciting. So fun. So much movement and hope for franchises that, uh, you know, have struggled for a long time. And, and here we go. Hope springs eternal. It's opening night. Big group substitution here for the Lakers. Howard's checked in for JaVale McGee. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Danny Green. Caldwell Pope, he's checked in for Avery Bradley. And it's Alex Caruso in for Davis. Now, here is Robinson. Eight points his last outing. The pass to Bullock. Lock at six. New York needs to get off a shot. And he hits it just before the shot clock expires. Lakers leading by six. Caruso, the pass to James. Here's Allen. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on LeBron James. No question, he got bumped on that shot. New York shooting their first free throws of the game on this trip to the line. First one drops. Los Angeles making a switch here. Rondo's checked in. And Allen drops them both. And here's Rondo. Caldwell Pope outside. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. And here's a look at numbers for Kyle Kuzma. Last year, getting it done. Last season, he averaged 18 points a game. Five rebounds and two assists. And he's putting in the effort, and you can see him getting better with time. So many little things that you have to learn to grow as a player 
He's just going through a bit of that process right now. That free throw missing. Yeah, much improved foul shooter. KCP also starting to get to the line at a higher rate. Second free throw, no good. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. And Knox taking lessons from the school of hard knocks on that play. Nice finish. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Kevin Knox got a ton of experience in his rookie year playing for the New York Knicks. The ninth overall pick in 2018 out of Kentucky. Played nearly 30 minutes a game. That's a, a lot of minutes to try to understand your game at the pro level and then what you need to work on. Now here's Kuzma. He's gotten some minutes but nothing on the board yet. On the clock. And Kevin Knox gets the whistle that time. That'll be his second foul of the game. Now with two fouls here in the first quarter, everything changes for him. He's got to be more careful on defense. Here's Caldwell Pope, and that comes off the assist by Dwight Howard. And the Lakers lead by three. Yeah, and a knifing into the middle. Caldwell Pope, not just a perimeter threat. Young fella can elevate. Here's Portis, and the Knicks getting another bucket right there. Buckets, but he should have just gone straight up with it instead of trying to fade away. Outside Rondo. Pass to Kuzma. The fadeaway. Robinson pulls it in. Uh, he wants that one over again. I guarantee that. Nobody's even in the neighborhood. Allen against Rondo. Outside Portis. Six on the shot clock. Near the three-point line, it's Bullet. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. L.A.'s gotten a lot of shots off from three-point land in the first quarter, but they're only four of nine. And the sharpshooter, Reggie Bullet. Took some time for him, Greg, here in the NBA, but, you know, he's going to shoot it. <laughs> Bullock has always been a consistent threat from outside. That is why this team... Loves it. It doesn't offer too much else, but he can open up some room inside with that ability to hit from deep. Knox misses. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Kuzma finds Rondo. And off there, he misses his first shot of the night. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Here's Kuzma. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Now Bullock. Nine-point game is last outing. New York shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Throw good, Bullock. And so Bullock nails both of them. Well, a great player on a great roll at the charity stripe. The D has got to be careful about being too aggressive on him and sending him back for freebies. Now here's Rondo. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And Will Pope with a wide open look. Off target with his three. Tight D, tight D. Now here's Bullock. Kicks it to Allen. From 13. 
doesn't get it to drop for him. One second left. That one misses. And don't go away. We'll be right back. Close game underway so far. We'll see if either of these teams can jump out in the second quarter. And taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? Well, this is the edge that great rim protection can give you. Yeah, you can't be careless with your shot selection out there because some of them are getting thrown back. The Lakers in the lead. And New York looking at who they've got. They've got Robinson. Reggie Bullock is out there with Allen. Then there's Bobby Portis. And it's Knox in at the three, the small forward. And here are the Knicks now, following the miss by Kyle Kuzma. Rondo looking around. As to Howard. He kicks to Caldwell Pope. Pass to Howard. Shot clock at six. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. New York's gotten off four shots from three-point range tonight and buried every one of them. Allen outside. Bullock with it. He's picked up by Rondo. That puts them in the lead. Bullock's got the lead up to one now for the Knicks. Always fun to look at. Not tremendously efficient, but the floater. Boy, those sure are pretty. Here's Caldwell Pope. And yes, it's good. Caldwell Pope's got six. And good touch there on the floater. A shot KCP is adding to his arsenal. Allen passes to Bullock. Back to Allen. Back to Bullock, and he converts the layup. Bullock's got the lead back up to one now for New York. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. Rondo, bounce pass. Baseline J on the way. No good there. So New York will take it the other way. And we're about two minutes into the second quarter here. Here's Knox. Good D by Howard. The defense ready for him on that possession. They had to be because he is so strong in the paint. The only way he was getting to the hoop was to use the double clutch. The Knicks have gone two or three from the field here to open the second quarter. Allen kicks to Bullock. Outside Portis. A rebound by the Lakers. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. And they'll keep possession. Howard misses. New York trailing. Allen for three. And the Knicks miss again. And it's Rondo with the ball for Los Angeles. Now the pass to Howard. Over Allen. That's good from Howard on the time assist out, by out. Rondo. Howard's got his first points in this one. Orchestrating right now, Rondo should be playing with a baton. New York calls timeout. At the number of trades now starting to involve stars, it feels like the league's power balance is always shifting to some degree. Yeah, and I think organizations that are trying to stay ahead of the trend, Kevin, might think about, we might have a star for just two years. Mm -hmm. How can we get the next one? 
backside of that, Kevin, is a lot of these star players are signing deals that are not extending to four, five, six years. They can't even do that anymore. So you get a guy for a couple years, what he wants to do is maximize his earning potential for one or two seasons, become a free agent again, and then look around the league where opportunities not only to win, but to also cash in. That's what's happening in today's game. And the Lakers with some changes. Davis is checked in for Howard. LeBron comes in for Kyle Kuzma. And it's Green in for Rajon Rondo. So New York going with almost an entire new group here. Randall's checked in for Bobby Portis. Morris comes in for Kevin Knox. It's checked in for Reggie Bullock. And Frank Nielikina's subbed in for Kadeem Allen. Morris and Davis sends it back. Just a wonderful effort from Davis on the defensive end with that rejection. And the shot goes in. Lakers have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Here's LeBron. You can't get that one. Randall with some nice D. New York's got a very strong four for five from three point land in the ball game. Here's the lob to the hoop. Very pretty alley oop layup. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. Now here's LeBron. Plays it in without an inch of room around him. LeBron's got his second basket of the night. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Especially on the interior. Here's Nilakina. He's guarded by Davis. Here's Robinson. And again, it's New York. Well, check out that assist. That's a pair of teammates that are clearly on the same page. Caruso, the pass to Davis. Pulls up. Good on the jump shot. Davis has got 11 points. Man, there should be a, a law against that right there. AD, size, athleticism, and then he gives you the J. Now here's Randall. He's coming off a 16-point game against the Clippers in Los Angeles. Yeah, but there's always this point, Kevin. you got to look at where did he also impact the game? It was on the rebounding end of the floor. A tremendous performance there. Here is Davis following the basket by Julius Randle. Davis dishes to James. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. That's not a pretty thing. LeBron James driving right at you, full speed, and when he gets into the lane and towards the rim, he's going to make contact. It's his first trip to the line. And the first one at the line is good. Interesting to watch LeBron James at the line through the years. Has tried many different free throw strokes. Not a bad free throw shooter by any means, but always tinkering. JaVale McGee's checked in for the Lakers. Avery Bradley comes in for Caldwell Pope. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Gibson's checked in. And both free throws good for LeBron. For New York, they've gone 6 of 10 from the floor here in the second quarter. Near the three-point line, it's Morris, and again, it's New York. Well, guys, this first half has been about as tightly contested as you could hope for. There have been a lot of lead changes. My goodness. Now, here's Bradley. Just five on the clock. Oats it up for Davis. And it's Davis finishing it off. We'll see if they can finally hold on to a lead. It's been back and forth all night. Well, you can tell they really want to increase this lead. They can't keep letting them take it from them. And the wide open shot for Morris. Offline with his three. Outside, Davis. It's Bradley on the wing. Back to Davis. The dish now to LeBron. 
The rebound by Gibson. The Knicks have gotten seven of their 12 field goal attempts to drop here in the second quarter. Up over 50%. Morris left side shoots over McGee again the miss by Morris he wanted to keep that shot from getting blocked but in the process he gave it no chance of going in because of how unbalanced he was on the fade now here is McGee nine points last game dishes it to LeBron oh drew the foul and almost hit the three-point bucket that he'll go to the line to shoot three a great job by LeBron in that instance at getting some contact and then going straight into the foul. Brent, if you were building an offensive system from scratch, what would be your favorite style of play? I would really tend to lean on three guards that could handle the basketball, Kevin. Guys who can initiate plays from all over the floor and really look to find players that are, are smart about playing off the ball. You've combined three of those guys with the skill set, mm -hmm. so one has it and the other two are maneuvering around. They're going to cause so much commotion. They're going to cause uh, so many breakdowns defensively within a possession uh, that a, a multitude of playmaking players, that would be tremendous. And Tough all of those defend, guys, right? I mean, yeah, but all those guys too, Kevin, on top of that, if we talked about their physical s nature and stature, I would want guys that are 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, and long because when you get back to the other end, you want them to be able to coordinate and take up enough room defensively to cause some problems. But, man... Three guards, three long guards, and, and this is something that Phil Jackson relied on during the years when they won championships yes, he in Chicago. He always looked for long guards. Aside from Jordan and Pippen, there was the Ron Harpers of the world that helped accentuate what they could do on the perimeter. Well, it's interesting to watch him because he's putting his body on the line to get to the line. We didn't see this during the first quarter, but he's making up for it here. The shot's good from Neil Aquino. Well, uh, that'll make a defender's hands full if Nilakina can stretch it out that far. Bradley deciding where to go with it and finished off by LeBron. And, and some hang time on the rim. Puts a little cherry on the top of that slam. Well, those kind of displays of strength can get one team rolling. Here's Nilakina. 11 points in the game. They double him with LeBron. And the ball's tied up, so we'll have a jump ball. And here is Los Angeles now. And it's Bradley with the ball for Los Angeles. Passes to McGee. He dishes it to LeBron. They kick it out to Green. Down to five on the shot clock. A three-pointer is right on target. You guys, he's been a one-man air raid coming at them time and time again. I don't like he's in his living room right now. He's found a comfort zone. Once he gets that, the defense knows they're in trouble. Barrett, no good. Los Angeles leading by five. Davis down low. He's defended by Randall. Inside. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Just shake your head at the size of LeBron James, and once he gets into the paint and gets pinballed around, he gets that contact and finds free throws. The Lakers have shot 67% from the line, going 6 of 9. First one falls for him. He hits one and misses one each at the line. Knicks trail by six. Here's Morris. He scores with that shot. Now he's three of eight. Yeah, crafty inside. Morris has become proficient at using his body to create just the right amount of space for that shot. Now here's Brent. And even three-on-three three break. 
Here's Nilakina. James covering. Barrett wide open. He fires. That three off the mark. Wouldn't surprise me to see him find his touch and still be a factor. Don't count them out yet. Bradley, no one around him. Yes, it's James picking up the assist. James has got his eighth assist here tonight. New York's gotten into trouble with the three ball in the second quarter, only hitting one of five attempts. Neely Kina passes to Barrett, and right away they match it with a three pointer of their own. Barrett's got eight points. Nice answer back there. Love to see the competitiveness. Yeah, both teams finding ways to the three-point line and trying to take advantage from distance. And the foul called on Marcus Morris. That is his first foul of the game. White Howard's checked in for JaVale McGee. Reggie Bullock, he's checked in for New York. Kadeem Allen comes in for Frank Nilekina. Knicks on defense. Four-point game. And it's Davis missing. And what should have been a simple pass and finish ends up in a missed opportunity on that alley-oop attempt. Yeah, you'd like to keep things a little more simple, and that was a play that didn't quite develop the way they wanted it. Now, here is Morris. Following the miss by Anthony Davis. Morris finds Gibson. Just three to shoot. Over in the corner, Allen. Off target from outside. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. Yeah, and the coach pretty smart for zoning in on him and giving him opportunities to stay with that confident play. And LeBron James gets it to go. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. 115 left in the first half. Here's Morris, and it's sent back by Howard. Now that reach of Dwight Howard's is so impressive. A dominant shot blocker and a tremendous athlete. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Now here's Gibson. 11 points for him in that last game against the Clippers. Pass to Bullock. Knocks it loose. Green deciding where to go with it. And there's another one for the Lakers. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Howard against Gibson. To halt the run. Kicks it out to Allen. It's stolen by Bradley. And the dunk by LeBron. Love how quickly the King got out there. The first two steps getting that break started. Allen, the bounce pass. Knocked away. And that one released in time, but no good. And so it's LeBron James making things happen for Los Angeles. After a fantastic quarter, he's sitting on a double-double. And there's nowhere to go but up for him. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Contavious, you guys came out with a lot of energy in the first half. What got you going? Uh, like you said, we came out with a lot of energy. Uh, we wanted to get easy basket on layups, uh, knock down shots. You got all that and more in that first half. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, everybody. We've reached halftime of our first regular season game. I'm swimming. I thought you thought maybe the first half was going swimmingly. <laughs> Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet. Shaquille. LeBron James putting in some incredible work. He had 18 points, 10 assists, and 5 rebounds. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. How good are these guys on the fast break? They're pushing the ball, finding the open man, finishing strong. They're at a breakneck pace, and if they can maintain this level of intensity in the second half, blowout city. 
And Shaq, what are your thoughts on New York? Well, they gave up too many good looks. You look at the field goal percentage against them, this tells the whole story. Not enough activity defensively, not enough disruption, Ernie. Like, Kenny disrupts me all the time, not enough disruption. And that's going to do it for us here. The second half of action is coming your way. And after a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. What can you say, LeBron James? What an impressive effort today. Well, it didn't take him long to get that double-double. Already has it halfway through the game. Yeah, guys like him love to stuff the stat sheet. He's doing it here. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. At the two and the three, it's Bradley and Green. JaVale McGee is out there with Anthony Davis, and it's LeBron in at the one spot. That's the Laker five. And there's the foul. It goes on Taj Gibson. That's foul number two for him. Knicks on defense. Down by 15. Bradley with room to shoot. That shot, no good. And New York the other way now. Here's Barrett. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Avery Bradley. And have to admire how hard Barrett goes. This kind of assertiveness is what makes defenders feel uneasy. The Knicks have it yet missed a free throw. Five for five. And going back a season ago, they were a pretty average team at the line, about 76% altogether. And that one falls for Barrett. And what you like about Barrett is his all-around game. A versatile guard slash forward who wants to keep improving. That one misses. Los Angeles leading by 14. James, the pass to Bradley. Back to LeBron. It's stolen by Morris. Pass to Neely Kina. Davis with the double team. Near the three-point line, it's Morris. Gets a very good look and converts. Morris has got eight. And dangerous in that catch and shoot game. In fact, anytime Morris can square up, he's a lot more consistent. Outside Bradley. Six to shoot. The Knicks pull it in. Randall's got four rebounds in this game. Neely Kina kicks to Gibson. And the pass to Barrett. It's stolen by Bradley. James outside. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Marcus Morris picks one up there. Really uh, the right play defensively. If you can't block, force him to the line. The Lakers have gone 7 of 11 from the line. Free throw good, LeBron. Kyle Kuzma's checked in for Los Angeles. And James drills them both. 
Here's Nilakina. 11 points in the game. Passes it to Morris. That's all good, and that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting 5 for 11 now. And you see the body control. Morris taking the hit there, but still able to complete the play. LeBron outside. Back to Bradley. And Kuzma has it in the corner. Five on the clock. And they double up Davis. Outside Bradley. And the Lakers with another miss. And if you have to admire his confidence on that, but uh, there's no way that's going to fall. Coaches will tell you that's a bad shot, but when your teammates tell you that, you probably got to think about it. Well, there it is. 0 of 3 to start the half, and finally, something finds its way through the net. Pastor Randall. And that's going to be too many steps. Gets the whistle on the travel. And looking now at some numbers here for Randall. Last season, he played outstanding. Put up about 21 points a game. Eight rebounds and three assists. And he led the charge when it came to scoring. Led the team. Yeah, he shot the lights out all year long from a variety of spots on the floor. Love that versatility. Davis dishes to James. Out to Kuzma. They get the rebound. Team starts the second half missing four of five shots. When does the coach possibly call a timeout and reiterate what he talked about at halftime? Now here's Gibson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Here's Randall. And there it is for him. So creative on offense. Randall getting more and more comfortable handling the ball and understanding where he can get to on specific possessions. Here's LeBron. He's got 20. Davis with it. And they double up Davis. Here's Bradley. Knicks with the rebound. Gibson's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Well, uh, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. Here's Nilakina. James covering Morris outside. Out of bounds, the Lakers will take possession. Well, while we have a second, let's go to the 2K leaderboard for a list of the league's top shooters from last season. Third is JaVale McGee. Put the ball in the bucket. I mean, that's the name of the game, right? I mean, just ask him. He'll have the answer for you. James, the pass to McGee. Now Kuzma. It's rebounded by Barrett. Barrett's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Trying to get open is Randall. McGee with the block. Pass to Nilekina. Another shot. Outside Brent. To the paint. Here's Davis. Bucket is good. Davis has got 17. That's just such good touch. I mean, with that length, Kevin, once he turns, he's got a shooting window that feels wide open. Time call here. The Knicks decide to talk it over. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time out also the time for players to get rehydrated or hydrate for the first time with some Gatorade. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a, of a game, and that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. some changes here for the Lakers. Contavious Caldwell Pope. He's checked in for JaVale McGee. Alex Crusoe comes in for Bradley. Rajon Rondo subbed in for James. Robinson's checked in for New York. Portis comes in for Julius Randle. And again, it's the Knicks missing. 
And it's Kuzma with the ball for the Lakers. Such a wide open look. And it's nine points for Contavious Caldwell Pope. And the three pointer, a big part of KCP's game. About half his shots come from out there. And positionless basketball, all the rage. And, and Kyle Kuzma really fits that mold. Is he a three? Is he a four? I don't know, but he gets buckets. Here's Caldwell Pope following the score by New York. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Marcus Morris picks one up there. And always a smooth athlete, KCP doing a better job of drawing contact. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. And he was dialed in at the line a season ago, 87% from the line. And he knocks down the first one. And very light-footed is Kuzma. Moves well for his size. You know, kind of a tweener in terms of build, but he has the ability to light up that scoreboard, something every team can use. Catching up on the changes for New York, Reggie Bullock comes in for Barrett. And it's Kadeem Allen in there for Nilakina. Impeccable from the line since halftime some tough offensive sets they want to turn it around yeah right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum and when it comes to choosing Brent the MVP the coach of the year the rookie of the year all these different great awards do you like the current voting structure uh, for these big awards right now I, I don't mind the current voting structure I don't know how you get away from what it is that, in terms of handing people ballots to, to figure out who it is that they think have earned those awards throughout the year Kevin what I don't like about the structure is that you have media members who are voting on things that have huge financial ramifications for organizations. And when that stuff happens with a player who's going to earn a super max contract because he made an all NBA team, what you're going to start doing is restricting smaller market teams from being able to afford the ability to keep their star player mm -hmm. with the team. And so that that needs to be fixed and fixed immediately. I do not like the media. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. That's we, I am the you media. You are the media, Kevin. Strike that. Let's re rewind. Can we delete that? <laughs> yeah, and of course, Marcus with a twin brother, Markeith, went to college together, played in the pros together. You'll have a hard time finding a closer pair of siblings. Robinson with the block. And it goes out of bounds. That went off Robinson. So it's the Lakers now. The lead is 15. Here's Kuzma. And what a struggle it has been yet to convert a single shot from the field. Allen with it. Picked up by Kuzma. Allen kicks to Morris. Throws it up high. And Davis sends it back. And he gets it back. New York, no good that time either. Well, he wants to shoot his way out of this cold spell, but the struggles continue. Yeah, he's got to move on, forget about this sequence here, and, and try to find a way to get on the board. Morris, no good. Just a, enough coverage to bother that three-point attempt. And Reggie Bullock gets the whistle that time. That is his first foul of the game. And now only one away from being in the penalty. The Lakers making a switch here. Howard's checked in. Davis finds Caldwell Pope. Stolen by Allen. The pass to Bullock. Here's Caruso. And the shot is good. And the Lakers lead by 17. Changing ends quickly. Getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. Yeah, their energy level's been amazing. Battery bar still full. Hustling and still working hard out there. Now here's Rondo. 17-point lead, their biggest. Caldwell Pope against Portis. Lock at six. Lakers passing it around. 
from outside off the mark. Didn't hesitate for a second to get a hand up on that deep ball. Yeah, you got to like how he hustled to guard out on the perimeter, definitely respecting the shooting ability. Kicks to Allen. Down low, here's Morris. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Morris has got 14. Now that basket must be widening out right now, Kevin. He's making almost every shot he's putting up this quarter. Caruso, the pass to Howard. Here's Rondo. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Four on the clock. Caruso, no good. Knicks trail by 15. Passes it to Bullock. Back to Allen. They get a hand on it. From outside the arc. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Five points in the game. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. That's one that the coaches will watch tomorrow with that player. You hate to see him give up in that situation. Davis. And it's good coming on the assist by Rajon Rondo. Rondo's got three assists in the game. And Joe Allen will bring it up for New York. It's a 14-point game. Outside Portis. Here's Robinson. And too long on the shot. The shots like that drive coaches batty. I'll be shocked if he attempts that shot again. And it's Davis with the jam. Loving the intensity from the brow there. He threw that one down with some real force. Now here's Allen. Five points in the game. Pass to Morris. Right wing. Near the three-point line, it's Bullet. Rebounded by Howard. Howard's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Feeds it to Davis. Stolen by Robinson. Now, here's Bullock. He's tightly guarded. It's Allen on the wing. He's covered by Rondo. Allen kicks to Morris. The shot, no good. Caldwell Pope with some nice D. Rondo passes to Davis. Bullock with the rebound. Knicks trail by 16. Pass to Allen. Back to Bullock. The pass to Morris. Allen with it. He's guarded by Caldwell Pope. Tries it from the top of the key. The Lakers with the rebound. He is just really almost playing for the other team. The shooting has just been poor. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. Well, as good as AD already is, to think that there's still upside to his game, it's, it's really remarkable. Athletic, talented, and continues to work hard to maximize his talents. No good on the free throw. The team just cannot get into a groove from the free throw line. It's a common problem for them. Danny Green, he's checked in for Rajon Rondo. And he's good on the second. And right now, at about 85% from the line, that's up from where it was in that first half. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And here is Morris. He's got 14. 
Here's Allen. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. Here is the 2K leaderboard with the list of last season's top three-point shooters. You look at Green, second in the league, extremely accurate from beyond the arc. The bucket must have looked three feet wide to him last year. I mean, very deserving in terms of that spot among the league leaders from three. That free throw good from Allen. James checked in for the Lakers. And then for New York, Randall's checked in for Bobby Portis. And Barrett subbed in for Morris. So he gets them both. Now James. 20 points for him. Over Randall. And it's James missing. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Randall kicks to Bullock. Allen outside. Back to Bullock. Shot clock at six. Shoots. New York, no good that time either. Lakers leading by 15. Now here's James. The 17-footer. And no good in the last second attempt this time. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Lakers ahead, up by 15. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. Yeah, an easy choice tonight. Look at the precision on this pass. Put it on a platter for him. Well, there's a way to break down the defense with the handle, but you can do it with the pass. Prime example of that right there. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Our fourth quarter action underway presented by Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups. On the court for the Knicks, it's Randall and Robinson at the four and the five. Elikina out there with Barrett. And it's Bullock in at the three spot. Robinson dishes to Barrett for three. Bullock. And James pulls it down. James has got seven rebounds in the game. Green, no luck. Knicks trail by 15. Neely Kina looking it over. Ball's knocked loose. Here's Caruso. Lays it up off the glass. And the Lakers lead by 17. Outside Robinson. Passes it to Randall. Fades away. And the rebound goes to Howard. Howard's got his sixth rebound on the night. Baseline try. Count it. Good. 22 points for LeBron. Yeah, LeBron showing all the ways that he can dominate a game here on another level in this one. And there's the foul. We're going Alex Caruso. That's his first foul. And Los Angeles with some changes. JaVale McGee's checked in for Howard. And Kyle Kuzma's subbed in for Alex Caruso. Taj Gibson's checked in for the Knicks. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Neely Kina passes to Randall. To the inside. Neely Kina can't hit. And the effort never stops with him. No easy shots when he's on the floor. Well, it's about the defensive end, and that's what guys feed off. He gives the effort down there at all times. After not having a three during the first half, he's made two now the second half. 
and he looks hungry for more. And it's Contavious Caldwell Pope with the foul. That's his third foul of the game. Game moves along. Two minutes gone here in the fourth. And it's out of bounds. The Knicks able to retain possession here. The Lakers on D. They have a 22-point lead. It's the most they've led by. Hits the three-point bomb. And 12 points for R.J. Barrett. And I like the back and forth here showing confidence from range. It seems like they're going to find out who can make the deepest threes. Right now, it's a shootout. Now, here is McGee. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Barrett's got seven rebounds in the game. Trying to get open is Randall. And the rejection by James. Wow. LeBron throwing that one away hard. There's a message behind that block. They kick it out to Green. A three-pointer, no good. And here's Gibson. He'll bring it up for the New York Knicks. Trailing by 19. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And at 6'7", Barrett with terrific positional size, which allows him to create problems for defenders down low. The first one at the line is good. And he makes both free throws. And just a better job of getting to the line here in the second half. Didn't get there once in the first. To the paint. Here's Jake. Oh! Yeah. Yeah, liking the vision there from Caldwell Pope. Looking to get his guys going when they're open. Here's Nilakina. James covering. They double him with LeBron. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. And here is Los Angeles now. Lakers leading by 19. And they double up James. And it's McGee with the jam. Now one thing LeBron James can dictate is how his teammates get going. Smart pass there. Knicks have gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. Neely Kina kicks to Barrett. You know, Brent, how candid can players be in their answers in the post-game interviews about what has happened or what they're feeling at that time? In other words, is there a danger to being, being too honest as a player? There could be, Kevin. I mean, anytime you express some of your vulnerabilities, and, and if it's done at the right time, somebody's going to take advantage of it. What we've seen over the past couple years is forget about when it is that the, the media is asking you questions. Most players are, are taking it to their social media accounts where mm. they're able to get the message out without being baited by somebody with right. regards to a question. They can expound on whatever it is that they are feeling at that time. And that helps them to, to control the messaging a little bit more. And I think that trend is, is going to continue and continue to grow. the second from the line fourth quarter of play and over three and a half minutes have gone by Caldwell Pope passes to Kuzma James right side that's tipped six on the shot clock on its way from Caldwell Pope for two and the rebound goes to the Knicks Randall's got rebound number five here tonight. LeBron passes to Kuzma. Caldwell Pope on the wing. Back to Kuzma. 
Brent, when we talk about home court advantage, do you feel it's the same as it used to be? It has that same impact. I, I do think it's still hugely important, mm. Kevin. It's less important when there's a team that has been together for a long time and has proven that they can take their wares on the road and, and come home with a victory. But it absolutely gives you a level of comfort as a player to get into your routine, to be at a place that seems familiar. Something deep down psychologically helps every member of that team being at home. Green dishes to LeBron. McGee, Gibson with the steal. Here's Bullock. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. How about the concentration? He gets hit, but stays with the play and gets the finish. And the Lakers making a change here. Bradley's checked in. Throw good. Bullock. The Lakers with the ball. Outside Brent. LeBron outside. Looking for McGee. He gets it there. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Taj Gibson picks one up. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. That's good from McGee. And one difference this have is that when they get to the line, they're converting. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Green. And the Knicks making a change here as well. Morris is checked in for Reggie Bullock. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. And how often do players argue calls knowing that they are in the wrong? They, they know they're going after something that, that, that uh, was the correct call. Let's just say often, Kevin. I mean, you just never, the, the whistle. Are they thinking ahead in terms of saying? Yeah, I don't think no, so. It's, no. it's emotional. <laughs> it's just an emotional reaction. I mean, yeah. you, you're, you're out there running around and doing what you do, and you get a whistle, you're going to react to it like, oh, some, I did something wrong. Yeah. Why am I in the principal's office yeah. right now? I want to I want to get my side up. I know you saw it. Everybody does. That it. sounds like you, you may have done a lot of that. I tried to avoid that, Kevin. That quite oh, did frankly. you? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. I, I don't think that's healthy for, for you mm. and your reputation. Mm. First free throw is good. Uh, Neil Aquina, well-traveled, born in Belgium, growing up in France, and joined the NBA as the second youngest player in the league's history as a rookie. Good on both. LeBron with it. Kuzma outside. Pass to McGee. Here's Bradley. Pass to Davis. And they double up Davis. Shot clock at five. He lobs up the alley -oop pass. And it's McGee with the jam is an area I think Bradley could improve upon playing a little more in the pick and roll force him to make some good decisions that time threaded the needle now here's Gibson for so long the U.S. has been the country to beat in international basketball play but uh, there are some big time challengers around the globe emerging well Serbia and Spain continue to be competition that, that the U.S. takes extremely seriously and I'm not saying they don't take everybody that they step on the floor against with with tremendous amount of respect 
past. Uh, we we know from years in the past that Argentina had its golden mm -hmm. age with the, the players around Manu Ginobili and Alberto and Nocioni, uh, but that seemed to be a timing thing for the Argentinian national team. Spain and Serbia will continue to be impressive and continue to push USA basketball uh, in these international tournaments and Olympic play. Now here's Kuzma following the miss by Marcus Morris. Kuzma passes to Davis. The fader. And there's another one for the Lakers. This looks like he's got more feel tonight. Like he's really got a good grip on that ball as he's letting it go. The pass to Gibson. The tray. Barrett, no good. It was rough shooting night tonight, but you can't fault him for the effort. And Kuzma has it in the corner. Trains it from beyond the arc. Kuzma's got himself on the board with three there. Well, that's a good job by Avery Bradley recognizing that he had an open teammate and get it to him in a good position. Randall down low. Davis is on it. There's another block. Uh, a defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. That one falls. And the confidence of Morris. Even with the hand in his face, he knows he can deliver. And here is LeBron. Tipped away. There's the dish to Davis. No good on that one. So New York will take it the other way. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. Of course, uh, Dirk Nowitzki spent his whole career with the Dallas Mavericks. We don't see that much anymore, do we, from the beginning to the end with one team? No, but I think we're going to still occasionally have anomalies like we did with, with Reggie being in Indiana yes. uh, for the years of his playing career. Nate McMillan was in Seattle for his playing career, now coach of the Indiana Pacers. So... There will be times where we'll have that once or twice. It's not going to happen very much, Kevin. Not, not in today's, not in today's game and today's not sport. with what's at stake. And he can't get the first one. Randall really improved in his shooting range from 10 to 16 feet last year. And that just makes him so much more a complete offensive threat in any system he plays in. And the Lakers making a change here. Green's checked in and a new group in for the Knicks. Portis, he's checked in for Gibson. Damian Dotson comes in for Marcus Morris. Wayne Ellington's checked in for Barrett. And it's Trier in for Neil Aquino. Here's LeBron. And the dunk by LeBron. <laughs> Somebody didn't get the memo. You left a clear lane for LeBron James. Passes to Trier. the Knicks miss again and so Green will bring it up for Los Angeles pass to McGee and it's McGee with the jam Danny Green is such a fantastic system player and this is a pretty fantastic system so it's working out well New York's gotten just one of four three-pointers to go down for them here in the fourth Randall against Davis with the fadeaway Randall with the bucket the defense certainly wasn't bad, but they've got to be a little bit quicker on contesting the shot. LeBron passes to Davis. And they double up LeBron. And the call will be against Julius Randle. That'll be his second foul of the game. Fouling like that isn't how you get back in the game. And Los Angeles will go for a different look here. Jared Dudley's checked in for Anthony Davis. Kyle Kuzma comes in for Danny Green. Troy Daniels, he's checked in for Avery Bradley. And Cook subbed in for James. And New York with a change here, too. Knox is checked in. Here is Daniels. For three. Rebounded by Knox. The Knicks shooting in the fourth quarter down around 31%, not playing with as much energy here lately. Pass to Ellington. 
Brent, we have seen some players refuse to speak to the media. For whatever reason, where should that line be drawn? Well, there is a, a role and a responsibility, I think, of every player in the league, Kevin, given that it's an entertainment industry and that people have jobs around this league to tell stories, to have access to those players. Now, every player doesn't want to talk or, or get into certain things, but their availability should be made and people should have access to them. Look, I don't want to take out the trash every Tuesday, but I understand I got to do it at home. Right. And so players have a responsibility to their franchise to be a voice at times. I always thought you were terrific with the media. Well, I appreciate that, Kevin. Maybe that's how I got this job. <laughs> and here is Los Angeles now following the score by New York. The wide open look here for Kuzma. And the three ball is good. Kuzma's got six points in the quarter. Yes, and, and with this one winding down, it's obvious to everyone who watched it, just a total mismatch and a true show of strength for Los Angeles. As one-sided as it gets today, you know, there were some dominant moments in there about every facet of this game for that team. Yeah, I mean, Kevin, I, it's hard to think of what didn't go right for them. Uh, game planning by the coaches, execution by the players, everything was just on target. And it'll go down as their first official win of the new year. And this is a great way for them to kick off this season series. Two more games ahead, and they've taken the mental advantage with this win tonight. And, you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for LeBron. Uh, just a force on the glass. Did a fantastic job crashing the boards and coming up with seemingly every rebound. Kuzma outside. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Count it. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. Yeah, up until that point, a competitive game. But once they broke through that barrier, it was all them. Complete control. Now, here's Portis looking to end the run. And it's Daniels with the rebound. And the Lakers can just let the clock run down here. Here is Cook. And so it's the Lakers taking care of business here. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And now we'll send it over to David Aldridge, who is standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. AD, it looked like you guys were having some fun out there. Is there a new dynamic coming up offensively? Um, no, we just don't care who scored the ball. You know, the ball movement was great. Everybody's rebounding and talking. So when we play like that, it's fun to watch. You know, and everybody out there having fun, smiling, um, a lot of emotions. That's all we asked. That's all Coach asked for, and we did that tonight. Good win tonight, AD. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that'll do it, folks. For Greg Anthony, Brett Berry, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA, presented by 2K Sports. So long, everyone.